What's going on everyone? So today's video, I figured I'd kind of do a little quick recap of the stuff in my backlog. The stuff I don't have time to build yet. Uh, stuff I've accumulated and, you know, with a full-time job and a family, you can only build so much. So this is the stuff that, some of it I got on sale, some of it I, I've had, a lot of it. I mean, there's a few things I paid full price for. And there's probably a few things here that uh, might surprise you. So stay tuned, let's see what all we got. Our first one, the friend set. It's, uh, it came out last year, two years ago. It's an idea set. Um, you see right there, Lego Ideas set number 27. Uh, I think we're on 30, 30 something. I'm not sure what the Winnie the Pooh set is, if it's 35 or 36. So I'm not sure on that. Maybe it's 34, but we'll do a quick review of this. I just want to run through all the stuff and not spend too much time on each one. If you guys haven't seen this, one of the big advantages to this one is the box where it opens from the side, kind of just opens up and closes like a lot of the uh, architecture sets. So that's a big plus. It's a lot more sturdy box. So that's something I plan on building. And uh, the one idea I thought of, I wanted to get this if I build a skyscraper, I figured this will be my bottom floor. So I won't have to, you know, kind of fill each floor with stuff. And I may just do this one, but I figured it'd be a great addition to have just to insert in or even build around the shape of this, which is very odd shaped. Uh, build that and make that the actual shape of my skyscraper once I get it. So that's our first one. Let's go to our second one. So our second set, I actually have two of. And I got them on sale. I think this, uh, these are hidden side sets. Uh, I think they retail for 30 bucks at the time. I got them on Amazon. I think I paid 16 a piece for them. So a pretty good deal. Um, one's the front of the box, one's the back. You can kind of tell. But what we got, it's a little cemetery. I figured I can use that and incorporate that. Not so much. I'm not into the app. I know it's not a thing that I, you know, I, I'll never use. But... I've got a few other hidden side sets we'll go over here and use more or less for my Lego City. More so than the actual use of them and not do the hidden side part with all the different uh, kind of play features and stuff like this you can see here. So that's what I've got for number two. We'll keep things rolling here and move on to our next one. <clears throat> next one here, we'll start on the front side and flip the box. Another hidden side set. This is the Shrimp Shack Attack, and I'm going to do a top down. You can see it's got some decent minifigures. The uh, way well, you kind of have to look at these is flip the box around to know what you're even getting. I think that was one of the biggest reasons from a marketing standpoint that these things failed, and I got all of these um, hidden side sets on sale. So I think this one was regular $40. I think I got it for $32 or $30. Um, at Walmart. So what you can see, you get a, basically a shrimp shack. It's got a nice sign with it. You get some little vehicle. I'm not too keen on that. You get your shrimp here. And honestly, I had to get online and look at some of the pictures to see what it looks like when it's not in its hidden side state. So you got some of these things here. And I'm like, yeah, this will work. I could put this down maybe near the docks or something near the water and have just like a coastal type restaurant. So that's our second one of Hidden Side. And our next one retail for $50. <clears throat> and I think I actually paid the same price as I did for the Shrimp Shack. I think I paid $32 for this one. And this one is the Lighthouse of Darkness. We'll do a top-down view. As you guys see my closet <laughs> in the living room, just enough space to be able to actually uh, project and get this in here with some kind of solid, decently solid backdrop. So what we've got, I can come up close on this one. And the one bad thing here in the box, it doesn't show what it looks like once it's all, these close up and you've got an actual decent lighthouse. You know, these claws retract here. You know, your color wheel may change a little bit. Your, it's got an eyeball up here. It's kind of hard to tell what that is, but that turns and it's just a regular light. 
I'm um, looking to see if any of it, none of these pictures through here really show what it looks like without the uh, hidden side feature in play. But I do plan on using this. Uh, it's got the little dock to it. So once I get a little bit of a water's edge, this will definitely part, be part of it. And then I can maybe put the shrimp shack, you know, not too far from it since it kind of goes together right on the, the coast. I guess you want to call it the coast. But yep. Uh, the Lighthouse of Darkness. Now, the third, fourth different set from Hidden Side was actually their biggest one. And let me see, I may have to move the camera back to get this one all in the shot. Okay, so this one is the Newberry Haunted High School. And the same exact thing. I didn't buy it for the Hidden Side stuff. Let's see the minifigures here. If you get a decent amount, where well, we get seven plus the dog. I bought it because Lego's never really done a school. And with this one, you can see, let's get it, there's the school. You know, decently, not too bad. Um, here's the back of it, so you can see there's a little bit of work because it's more just a big a front. So there's a little bit of work. I'll probably end up doing some modifications to it. If I'd end up doing that and finding the time, um, I'll definitely do a video on it just to kind of square it off to make it more modular style with four walls and a solid roof. Move this back to get it in the shot. Um, some of these pieces, I believe, are supposed to glow in the dark. I, I don't care one way or another, honestly. Um, you can not put some of these stickers on to make it less hidden side-ish. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, it's got some good figures. I like the bell tower up top here. Um, you can kind of see maybe on the side how it's really only maybe six or seven studs long or deep if that but I'll probably I would probably build a wall back and up and then just have a roof this kind of flat roof set on it because typically every school you ever see has just a flat roof um, maybe put some side doors out and then I think I think my goal would be to have a, a schoolyard around it, you know, a fence in the front, maybe some swings or a little playground, some park benches and stuff. Um, not the park bench that's supposed to eat you, but <laughs> probably that that's what I'm going to go with. Maybe make a little schoolyard with it. So that's why I got this set. This set sold for 130 bucks. I ended up finding it at Walmart, clearance, discounted, everything, last chance for 75 bucks. So I even passed it up one day and thought and then got on I watched a video on this on Jang Bricks and thought, yeah, I could probably incorporate this into, into my city and it wouldn't take too awful much to square it off and make it an actual modular style building. It might take $100, $50 to $100 to do that, so I'd probably have double in it, but I'd have a full building. So I think that's what my long-term plan is with this one once we get our Lego city set up. So let's look at our next set. Now our next set is a brand new one for 2021. If you guys are watching this video new, it's a Jeep Rubicon. Uh, they call it, call it the Jeep Wrangler, the uh, Rubicon edition. I have a Jeep, mine's a Sahara edition. That's an orange one. So I might look and see what it would take and see if some of all these pieces even exist in orange. And I might try to convert it over, but for the time being, I plan on building this the way it is. Um, it does have the new wheel design. These are on the, uh, the Lego tractor that I've done several videos on, this new tread, kind of a chevron type tread. Um, let's see, look at the back. I haven't really looked an awful much or all, too awful much at it. So there's what they were going for in reality. Got our doors open up, our winch, the hood opens up, our steering mechanisms in the back. And then it looks like we've got some articulation and some shocks for our tires, but yeah, that's our Jeep Wrangler. I look forward to building this one one night. It's got 665 pieces. Doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit smaller than what I thought. I was hoping if they were gonna do one, go big, you know, go at two to four, three, two to three hundred plus dollar range and actually do a real Jeep Wrangler, but I guess I'll settle for this. Let's look at our next one. Uh, now this one, I actually have two of these sets. I built one and I liked it so much. I figured if I bought two of these, what would it look like 
and there's an old Lego set, I want to say from the 50s or 60s that I kind of saw, that it was kind of a castle-ish English kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, but it was more for the city, um, where it had a taller building on one side and a smaller one, and this was, you know, really basic, just square block kind of build. Um, I'll see if I can throw that picture up here um, whenever I do a my next set here, but I figured I'd buy two of these. I could put the two blue ones side by side, and then on each end, do one of these Birch Bookstores and maybe just not put the Birch Books logo on it and see what that looks like. Well, let's flip this around and see what we got. We'll do a top-down view. You can see all the pieces. Um, I'm not sure how piece counts. 2504 on this one. I think this is retailed for 180 179 same thing. Uh, special features on it. Uh... Nothing really outstanding on it. It's just a nice addition. One of the biggest things uh, that I liked was the birch tree. I've not seen that design before, so that was a big plus to get just some foliage in the city. But, you know, you get a few minifigures. I'm not sure the actual count, honestly. What do we have to um, throw in the front? One, two, three, four, five. So five figures. You get this little blue bird with the nest. Uh, it's a nice little addition. You know, it's nothing special. It doesn't stand out really amongst the other modulars. But I think if I do this double set, I think it'll really add something to it. I'm always looking to maybe add a little bit more to my city to differentiate mine from somebody else. Once I get my city designed and I've got a lot of the modulars built, I just got to get the Lego room built and the table set. And then I guess we'll go on that journey together. Uh, designing the Lego City. I'm going to have a big Lego farm, obviously, if you've seen my other videos. So that's where we are with this one. Let's get into, I've got two more. Um, one is a really special one to me, and one, I guess, is another really special one. Let's get into it. Yes, I bought the Coliseum, and I'm one of those guys that stayed up till midnight on Black Friday, or stayed up Thanksgiving E, or Thanksgiving night, Black Friday Eve. Stayed up, ended up buying this set. Yes, I got the little free gift with purchase chariot set that for some reason I checked. I don't even know what it's going for now. It was up to close to $100, $90 on eBay, I think, since they had so many of those left over. Now, if you buy this set, um, at least in March 2021, you still get that special little gift with purchase set but I think the price may have come down a little bit just because they are still available. At the time of this video and the time that I bought this, this is still the largest piece count Lego set, 9,036, before you figure in your extras, which will probably put it probably around 9,075, I'm guessing. No many figures. I do plan on building this. Yes, I have been to the Coliseum, that was one of the biggest reasons I bought this set. I went there in 2000, right after uh, high school graduation. I'm dating myself there. But this is one of my favorite sets before I build it. Now, yes, I know it's going to be a very tedious build. And maybe not one of the funnest things I've ever done. But I do look forward to having this built. Um, it honestly looks like it's going to be a pain to dust with the different crevices and stuff to try to get in and dust over time. But I guess we'll just deal with it. It's gonna be a great showpiece for sure. I got one more set here for my backlog. It's an open set, but it's fully complete. I just need to, and the box has been open, but I do have the box. This set came out in the early 90s and I'm sure you guys will enjoy this one. Like I said, the last one I saved, probably the best for last from a historical value. Um, I think the one I'm most looking forward to is the Coliseum to build it because I've been in the Coliseum. But this one, this is from my Lego City. I have bought some extra track, and those straight track are not cheap. The set itself is not cheap, especially with the box. Um, I think most everything's complete. It's missing a couple one-by-two pieces, which I've got... 
dozens or hundreds of, you know, nothing huge that's missing here. Uh, maybe a couple hair pieces that I might need to just go find. But this is the airport shuttle. It's one of my favorite sets. It was one of my favorite ones growing up because I never had it. I had a friend that had it. I ended up getting a bunch of the other sets all related to this, but I never had this one. So you can see the uh, model design in here. Let's do a little zoom in on this. The way the track sets up. You can do it. Uh, you don't have to actually put it all in a loop. It can just go in a straight line or, you know, curve and just have ends where it'll just stop. And you can start it and make it go back the other way. So there's a lot of great features here. I think Lego is missing out by not making another one of these. Let's see if I can turn this without totally screwing this up because the bottom is open. There we go. So you can see what's on the back of it, the different features. There's not a ton of parts. I think there was maybe just over 600 parts. I don't honestly remember. Back in the day, they didn't require the piece count to be on these boxes, so I really don't know um, how many pieces are in this offhand. But you can see some other different shuttle designs that they give you, some other ideas. So you might look. I'll probably use the original design just because it's such a standout dynamic model that everybody's fond of. I think it'll be a great addition to my Lego city that a lot of other builders and uh, YouTubers don't have for their Lego city. But that's what we've got today, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you guys are interested in any of these sets, I'm sure I'll probably do a video on most of them. Might do a separate hidden side specific video for just all of those. But I guess we'll see you in the next video. You guys can see I got plenty of stuff to build. Let's go on that journey together.